Myobarbine gland proteobium is a treatment for blocked myobarbine glands. Those are the glands in the eyelids which produce the oil component of tears. Sometimes they get blocked by scarring. Without the oil component, tears evaporate too fast, leaving people with dry eyes. In probing, the clinician clears the glands by pushing a very fine wire into each gland, breaking up and clearing any blockages. Heat treatments can clear blockages from solidified myobum, but probing also breaks and clears any fibrotic scars. Those are scars from inflammation that are narrowing the glands and sometimes blocking them completely. Probium is most suitable for people who've had myobarbital gland dysfunction for a long time with very severe gland blocking that hasn't cleared completely with other treatment. It's usually a last resort for people who have tried Lipiflow or IPL, which is intense pulse light therapy, to clear the myobarbital glands, but are still suffering from dry eyes. It's also helpful for people whose glands have atrophied after being blocked for a long time. Probing doesn't only clear the glands so they start expressing oils again. It has also been found to help the glands regenerate to a small degree. Anyone can have probing if it's indicated in their particular case. Sometimes we can see blockages on imaging, and if so, I would recommend probing early. Probing is also diagnostic. That is, we can prove internal blockages, as well as therapeutic, that is, we can break down the blockages. Before discussing potential side effects, I'd like to discuss the safety of the procedure. When one passes a blunt-ended probe into a gland, if it is open, then absolutely nothing will happen. It will not cause any scarring or bleeding. It is similar to putting a probe into an empty pipe. If there is no blockage, no harm will be caused. However, if there are blockages, what will what will happen is that there will be a pop as the probe passes through and clears the scar. Occasionally, there can be a small amount of bleeding from the pop. Sometimes the procedure is somewhat irritating to the eyelid. After all, it is a type of surgical procedure. The eyelids can sometimes release toxic substances and even bacteria which have accumulated, and this can lead to a mild conjunctivitis and sometimes pain. It usually settles down within a week or so. I've never had a patient who suffered long-term from probing, Although I've had one or two who do suffer for a short period of time, let's say a week or so, before settling down from the procedure. Probing may have to be repeated as probing doesn't solve the long-term problem. It just bypasses the scarring which has occurred as a result of the underlying inflammatory disease. The full procedure takes approximately an hour and a half. We will first have a consultation and then we will place a local anesthetic on your eyelids to numb the lids for the procedure. Occasionally, we will put a contact lens in as well to protect the cornea. After about 20 minutes, the anesthetic will have taken effect and we will begin the procedure, which can take anywhere between 20 minutes and an hour, depending upon the difficulty involved in the probing. Sometimes I do it with a short probe and sometimes with a long probe. The recovery time is approximately one week. Your eyes can feel slightly irritable during that time, but will eventually settle down. It will be reviewed about three months after the procedure and we will look at your glands again to see if there's been any recovery.